हेलो टू ऑल माई स्टोरी लवर्स वेलकम बैक इन स्टोरी टाइम चैनल टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू रीड चैप्टर नंबर थर्टी फोर द ट्रूथ अबाउट वूमेन रिटर्न बाय द ग्रेट सुधा मूर्ति एंड टेकन फ्रॉम द बुक वाइज एंड अदरवाइज लेट्स गो थ्रू इट वेन वूमेन इन इंडिया वन द राइट टू वोट it was seen as a sign of equality and freedom but in reality their social status is not good that is why we see plenty of bride burnings female infanticides and other atrocities committed against women recently i attended a seminar on women's issues during the talks something very interesting was read out it was a list of countries where women enjoy freedom in all respects economically socially and politically the countries where women were more emancipated feature at the top of the list while countries which lag behind in empowering women came lower in the list i assume that india would feature somewhere in the middle of the list in fact it was the second last country to be named it came as a total surprise to me and of course a bitter one i was curious to know which were the first three countries i expected england or america to be at the top of the list i was wrong again the top three countries were all scandinavians Sweden, Norway and Denmark. Most of us at the seminar were taken aback. We were surprised that such small countries lying in a corner of Europe were the countries that respect their women the most. Once on a visit to Stockholm, I was late in returning to my hotel one night. As I was quite far from the hotel, I had to take a taxi. The fare to the hotel was 40 kronor, but thinking that the taxi driver would charge at least double considering the late hour, I gave him 100 kronor and waited for the change. He returned 80 kronor. When I asked why, he said, "You are a lady traveling at this hour of the night." so we take only half of the actual fare i was really impressed back home in my country i would not even dare to travel after dark even if i did the taxi driver would surely charge me multiples of the actual fare we talk endlessly on the podium we worship goddesses we are proud to say that women have the same rights as men in our constitution the ardhanarishwara form of lord shiva shows that he too had consented to this equality our scriptures and our history tell of women with extraordinary qualities but in reality do our women really feel secure do they actually enjoy freedom do they do they enjoy equal rights in society may be a few do women are usually identified in relation to men as a daughter a wife or a mother often indian women do not have a say even in personal matters their services are not rewarded nor is their efficiency appreciated they have to live in a male dominated society it is ridiculous that often those of their own gender are their worst enemies it is a different matter a matter of pride that the indian woman has learned to live and excel in such an environment in contrast women are respected in the three scandinavian countries we just talk but they practice the saying where women are happy the goddesses dwells holds true only in such places 
Do you like this experience? Then comment it and subscribe our channel.